Hey there guys, this is Amber Rain Davis from NotableInk.com and I am hopping along with Alta New for their May 2019 stencil release. I am thrilled, so excited for this stencil. When I was little, like, I don't know, elementary, middle school age, I was really into Art Deco. I'm not really sure why. Um, I loved the gold and the black together and the patterns. I just thought the patterns were so cool. This Deco Wonder stencil has a great Gatsby vibe going on and I'm going to pair it with the new Altenew Gold Pigment Inks and I'm going to be using the Mega H Alphabet die, the Signature Word dies as well. So we'll go ahead and get started. If this film footage looks vaguely familiar to you, it is because it's the footage that I used for the product videos and I liked how the panels turned out so much in several of the videos from this release that I ended up turning them into cards. So there we go. So this is the Antique Gold Pigment Ink and I have an A2 size piece of black cardstock there. I've taped my stencil to the back and, or I've taped my paper to the back and I'm just going to start blending. Um, I only have just two small pieces on either side. You might want to put one on top and bottom as well. So. Once I get a good amount in the center there, I'm just going to work on blending it out through the edges and you can see it just blends really beautifully and we've got our first panel. Now I did decide to do another one. I don't know why, I guess because I just had it there, but I did it on the back of this one. So I'm only going to be able to use one of these panels in the end. Um, it's kind of like a pattern paper that has two really great patterns on it and you got to sacrifice one. It's a little bit what we have going on. So this time, because I wanted to do the full panel, I went ahead and took the ink pad and went direct to paper here. So I just smushed it right onto the cardstock. Now, if you do that, you wanna be careful that you don't twist it around, just kind of pounce it straight down. Don't squish really hard because otherwise you're gonna to get too much ink on there and it's gonna squeeze underneath the stencil. So just plop it down, take it off, and then blend all that ink out. Um, and again, just blends really nicely, nice and smooth. So here's a full panel if you wanted to see what that looked like on black cardstock. It's super, it's got a nice sheen to it. And then of course, you know, I'm not gonna waste the ink that's on my stencil. So we're gonna do some second generation ink, stencil inking here. So I just have an A2 size piece of white cardstock. This is Nina, 80 pound. And I've sprayed my stencil with a mini mister of ink from about eight inches away. You don't want big droplets of water. You just want a really fine mist. And I'm just going to walk my fingers over that and get it all inked up. So you can see that that has a really cool effect as well. It has the nice shimmer. And then look, there's more ink. Not going to waste that either. So I'm going to grab another piece of cardstock and plop it down in there. And same thing, just walk my fingers over it. And... Now we've got two panels. So cool, right? So now I'll go ahead and clean up my surface. I'm gonna take the Enchanted Gold uh, pigment ink from Altenew and I'm gonna stamp this happy birthday sentiment onto a strip of black cardstock. Now this sentiment is from their cup, they have a cupcake layering set. I can't remember the name of it, but as always, I'll have all the products listed below. And I've cut out an H from black cardstock and gold foil cardstock from Altenew because I wanted a shadow behind that gold piece to set it apart from the white cardstock we have there. Also, I want to have a black border around this card as well. So I'm just trying to bring in the black in a couple places. My happy birthday sentiment is going to be popped up, actually, the H and the sentiment will be popped up and um, that'll go right through the center of the H. I die cut a piece of gold foil cardstock from Altenew with an A2 size die and then I cut out the middle because I didn't want to waste what was in the middle and I don't need that behind my card panel. So I'll use that on another card at a later date and I'm going to go ahead and put this on so that I have a gold frame around it. Now I didn't have enough of that gold paper for the next card, so I'm gonna go ahead and create my own so that I've got a frame, and on this I'm using the Antique Gold Pigment Ink, and I'm just going direct to paper. So I'm just using the edge of the ink pad and swiping it back and forth, and I'll go around all four edges. 
There's a lot of ink on there, so I'm gonna go ahead and heat set that a little bit. And then I'll get the inked panel adhered to the frame. And time for the sentiment. So I've die cut three black pieces of cardstock with the signature words, congrats, um, die. And I never remember to put adhesive on the back of these little bitty die cuts. And then when I do, I find that it's really hard to actually die cut it. Like the, the adhesive is too thick. So I have this extra large Nouveau glue pen, which is amazing. If you don't have one of these, you should definitely get one. You can put, I mean, look how easy it was to put the adhesive on this little dainty die cut. Amazing. And it sticks so well. So I highly recommend that. So you can see my ink is smeared right there because I didn't dry it for long enough. Look how easily that erases. Amazing. That is definitely something that I'm a big fan of because I smear things a lot. I'm impatient. I don't let my ink dry. That's just how I roll. Living on the wild side. So just getting these adhered down. So I'm going to frame it with a piece of black, A2 size cardstock. Then we'll get our card panel adhered to this frame. You can see that other panel that I had created on the back that. So sad. It's getting all covered up, but that's okay because I did like this one better. I think this has a really cool kind of spotlight effect to it. So everything's all adhered. Just gonna get rid of some spray ink. Now you can see the issue is that I still have ink on my mat there. So I finally have cleaned that up so I don't get it all over the place. Use that same Nouveau glue pen and then I'm just gonna adhere this down. I'm gonna line up that. I know that the sentiment is not completely centered but I thought it looked best with the G centered with that V point that you see there. I'll pop a block on it until it dries and adheres well. And here's the finished card. Graduations are coming up and I think this would be a fantastic card for anyone graduating. Or if you need a masculine card for someone who has done something well, you wanna congratulate or graduating, any of those things, I think this is a great stencil for masculine cards because it's geometric and um, not very flowery. Here is a close-up of the second card with the second generation stencil inking using that antique gold pigment ink. And you can just see it turned out really nicely. I think it has a cool effect because you have two thin outlines from the edges of the stencil. And again, this would be a great card for any of the guys in your life. So here is the set together. I hope that you enjoyed these cards today and we'll give ink blending with these new pigment inks a try and also using this Deco Wonder stencil. I have lots of other cards in this hot, so be sure to check that out. If you haven't already subscribed and liked and hit the bell button, please do that. That helps get these videos out there so that other people can see them as well. So all of us YouTubers so appreciate it when you guys interact with all of our channels. Um, thanks so much for stopping by guys and have a fantastic day. I'll link a couple other videos from the hop or uh, techniques that are similar. Thanks so much.